probably gonna have to transform because if he doesn't he's gonna die okay so this is cool bars mode now now we got cool bar going all out okay okay now we got deku going into his first mode his full cat well his second mode he actually skipped the first one have that extra amount of health and deku gets caught in the one shot and almost dies but doesn't die okay deku All right, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Ice, and we're back here with another Mugen video. And today, we're gonna be continuing with the multiverse tournament, and we're gonna be playing Yu Yu Hakusho against My Hero Academia. As y'all know, these are two of my favorite animes, man. This one's gonna hurt me, bro. I'm very excited to get into this, man. I'm very excited to get back with another video. And shit, I'm not gonna lie, man. This is like, like I said, these are two of my favorite animes. Two very good shows, two very strong teams. I'm not going to hold you guys back too long. It's sad that we don't get to see my boy Lemillion because he doesn't have a set character that can fight in a tournament like this where it's not, you know, pure auto dodge and shit like that. So it's kind of sad that I don't get to see him here today. But, hey, man, you know, we got to get past it. My boy Lemillion, you feel me? He, he's he's rooting for the My Hero Academia team in the background. So we'll see how that goes. As well as, you know, I love my boy Hiei as well. And he's always been the strongest on Yu Yu show other than Yusuke. So I don't have a problem with that, but we're just starting off. We got Tokuyami and my boy Kunigami, or uh, Ko not Kunigami. I'm walling out. Uh, Uabara. Okay, wait. What is this? Is this like an ultimate? I've been reading that good blue lock. So I, my bad, y'all. Y'all know that blue lock has been hitting lately. Okay, we got two back to back super slashes from my boy Kuabara, and this is down to do some bound to do some pretty good damage. I'm not gonna lie. The first one already did decent damage. I don't know if Tokiyami has a mode, but he's getting destroyed right now by my boy uh, Kuwabar. Yeah, and, and then giving Kuwabar this range, he's going to throw the ultimate attack at you multiple times. He has to close the gap. If you don't close the gap, then it's like, what are you going to do? This is one of those big maps. A lot of characters can get range. A lot of characters can get beat pretty damn easily. And yeah, he won't. Oh, Kuwabar closed the gap. And he made the gap big again. Oh, no, nah, this boy's an idiot. Okay. I don't think Kokoyami has a mode, because if he did, he would have used it by now, I believe. But I could be wrong. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought he, I thought he popped his little, uh, his shadow. Uh, okay. Right now, he started doing good towards the end. But yeah, Tokoyami definitely doesn't have a mode. It doesn't, it doesn't look like it. And he's getting just destroyed right now. Not destroyed, but he's, he's. The game's definitely not going in his favor. Sadly, my boy Tokoyami falls to. Cool bar. Cool bar is a pretty strong character. He's definitely not weak. And it's sad to see him uh Oh, these are two hard-headed characters. My boy Kirishima, he's pretty hard-headed. He's not like Bako though, but uh Cool bar and Kirishima definitely have some things in common. Right Red Ride, my boy Kirishima, he definitely has some really strong things. He has some really, uh, nice mode. He has some pretty decent things in his kit, but he's going to be I don't know why these characters keep making long range. I'm not going to lie. If you go long range to the Yu Hakusho team, you're bound to lose. You don't want to spread out from them. They all have some pretty nice range moves, some pretty range attacks. We got the Darkness Dragon. Oh, he ran right through that. Okay. Well, we got the Darkness Dragon. We got Spirit Gun. Their whole team got, like, you know, just good ranged advantages. I'm not even going to lie. Okay. Huobara is starting out for the Yu Hakusho team going off, though. I already said in the beginning Yu Hakusho was going to be a team to watch. Their team is not bad. Their team is pretty strong indeed. And I think that they have, like, a, a real shot in the tournament, man. I'm going to be honest with you. I really think they do. I would have, sadly, if they had Gang Kai, I would bet on them to win a tournament, but she had, like, an extreme amount of auto-dodge. Even without her, they're still going to be winning easily. It's just, like, I didn't want it. It was just too much. Okay. Mm. Okay, so Kirishima's already starting out going crazy. I'm not going to lie, but he has a mode. He's not popping it. He needs to pop his mode. If he doesn't pop his mode here, he probably will lose. And I I, I don't know. I don't, I'm not going to lie. It's not looking good for a kid. Yeah, Kirishima doesn't pop his mode, getting full health back, giving Kuwabara the easy first fight i'm not gonna lie now we got todoroki todoroki's a monster he doesn't have a mode but you know people know how he gets right he, he's carried he, he has a lot of range he has a lot of good moves a lot of like i said just pure range attacks a lot of good damage and a lot of good look at look just look at the damage he has in the range he's not you're not getting close to him he will not if he doesn't want you to get close to him you will not so like i said this is where cool bar is probably gonna have to transform because if he doesn't he's gonna die okay so this is cool bar's mode now now we got cool bar going all out. Todoroki's been going all out. Todoroki, you see, has his ice little fire mode activated. And it's just, it's going to be a hard little type of fight. Okay. Oh my god. There we go. 
little little laser blast. Okay. And it still looks like Total Rookie has the advantage. Total Rookie keeps getting close though. Up close, he has no chance to go with cool bars. So what I'm saying, he's definitely gonna want to back up. He has the mode. He has the not the mode. He has the bar for it. And now he's stuck in a corner with cool bar. This is not what you want. This is not what you want at all. It's not looking good at all. And there we go. Total Rookie gets a little bit of range on and out. A little bit more of a you know get into his sport. And Total Rookie starts doing extreme damage doing some good damage but not what you want to do he should have used his fire attacks on the ground that's where he wants to, he wants to use these moves on the ground the things that give him extreme range like that right there and it's just insane amounts of damage if total rookie could win here i'm not gonna lie i don't see him um he might be able to take karama too karama doesn't have a mode karama's about damage just like total rookie is and total rookie just doesn't have enough health though i'm not gonna lie if he does win this whoever wins this is already gonna be low for the next fight and Total Rookie keeps getting in Karama's face, which is the dumbest thing he can do. I don't know why he's trying to punch him. Total Rookie's not trying to, like, you know, use his dad's side, and I understand, but, like, it's not the move right now. And Total Rookie takes that fight, but at what cost? His health is extremely low. He took the W, though. Feel me? Give Deku, you know, a little bit easier of a. If Deku can win, to give him a little bit easier of a fight for the next couple of rounds. But, um. Karama is very strong. Karama could get eliminated very easily, though, because we know Karama likes to spam his ultimate tech, and it is a one-shot. So, you know, one-shots are not allowed for the first, like, what, 30 seconds of the match? But it, he might not even need it. I'm not going to lie. Karama's already putting in hella amounts of damage, and Karama drops Todoroki. I'm not going to lie. I think Todoroki has that fight in the bag, but Huobar just did what he needed to do. I'm not going to lie. But now we got Deku, the strongest on the My Hero Gideon team, their last hope. Will he be able to, um... Can he take down Kurama? Kurama's a monster of a character. He has like you know the little bit of demon regeneration. That's what puts him over. Um, sadly, that's what puts him over Kuwabara because he has little bits of demon regeneration, and that's just a strong thing to have in these type of fights. Okay, wait a minute. Deku's already putting in nice amounts of damage on my boy Kurama. Kurama is healing fast, so Deku has to keep aggressive. Deku hasn't even popped any moves yet. You know, Deku's already just violating in base which is you know that's a great sign great great sign on deku's part yo deku is putting in that work okay wait a minute karama's starting to come back a little bit like i said up close deku definitely has the advantage against i think almost everybody on the yu Hakusho team i think he has the advantage against like yeah yu Hakusho, like i said they're very strong range they're even strong up close too it's just like unless it's like my boy here or something i can't see too many teams oh don't step into that deku i'm gonna say if you step into that you're gonna die that's karama's one shot right there he popped it but he popped it at the worst time possible he still has a chance of popping it again i'm not gonna lie karama very low on health very low now one percent and deku deku doing some good damage but you know obviously not getting the kill yet mm, okay now we got rosewick coming out we know Deku still has multiple modes, and Karama has one-shots. That's the dangerous thing with Karama. You don't want to get too close to him, because if he one-shots you, you could lose everything. Okay. Okay, now we got Deku going into his first mode. His full cow Well, his second mode. He actually skipped the first one. Now we got full cowling, and I'm not going to lie. This is where it's going to get super hard for Karama. Karama's going to have to either use his one-shot or something, because in terms of like strength and speed... Deku is like gapping Choto Kurama so bad. It's not even gonna be a, like a close type of setup right now. As y'all see, Deku's miss messing up his combos and he's still just completely outspeeding Kurama. But I don't know if Deku has anything that can kill Kurama. That's the problem. He no, he has things that can kill Kurama, but Kurama does have that extra amount of health. And Deku gets caught in the one shot and almost dies, but doesn't die. Okay. Deku does have that ultimate that does give him some decent health, but he's going to have to pop it now. Okay, there we go. Okay, this does give him a heal up. We nerfed it, though, so it doesn't give full health back, but it does give a nice little heal. And with 18 seconds on the clock, if Karama were to use that ultimate again, and Deku didn't even get hit by the full one shot. Oh, it's going to hurt. Yeah, it's going to kill Karama. Maybe or honestly, yeah, yeah, okay, that does kill Karama. I'm about to say, Karama's little egg that heal, man. That shit is crazy. But okay, now we got Deku going into it with my boy Yusuke. This is bound to be... um. A pretty good fight we know yusuke is a strong contender he's already been going crazy in the tournament for a while now but i'm not gonna lie deku is a monster we just watched what deku did in that full cowling and i don't know if anybody is ready for that i'm not gonna lie i don't know if anybody's ready for it we got yusuke starting off going crazy with ray guns i what did i tell you guys you don't want to get ranged with yusuke yusuke will beat any character in this damn tournament if you want to go range with him 
Okay. Deck, I'm not going to lie. He's dominating right now. Unless you, Deku has to transform because Yusuke is taking over the match right now. Oh, my God. Deku might die. Okay, I was about to say. Don't let Deku was about to go down. And that was going to be bad. Okay. Now we got full cowling. This is where Deku's going to take the huge advantage. He has the damage. He has the health. And, and Yusuke, yeah, he's not even going to get to transform. Yeah, Yusuke didn't even get to transform right there. Yusuke just, he, he doesn't have, he looks like he has the least amount of health on the whole team. I'm not even going to lie. But now we got Yusuke against Hiei, the two strongest on both teams. He starts it out throwing a Jagan Dragon off rip and absorbing one. Okay. Yo, Hiei's not playing any games. He knows he might not be able to take Yusuke. He ain't a, not Yusuke. He knows he might not be able to take Deku in a one-on-one -on -one battle. And Deku's one for all. So he might try to kill him early. I'm not going to lie. That would be the smartest decision. Oh, and he already he already triggered it. I'm not going to lie. He is either going to want to transform or he's going to want to do something. He's going to want to do something. Oh, that's I don't think that's going to hit. But it might. Oh, it did hit. Okay. And that that shredded my boy he ate to the next land. Okay, he ain't transformed now. He has some decent uh This health is gonna help him. Okay, this is what we go. We got he ain't his full on mode. He's in full power now. And he has the Jagan Dragons coming in. That does great damage, but it's not gonna do nowhere enough to kill Deku. He's gonna have to keep Deku in the corner crazy. Because if Deku pops a one shot, it's over for he ain't. Okay, great damage on Hiei's part. Okay, like I said, still doing great amounts of damage on Hiei's part. Oh, and he hits him with a smash to end it off, pushing my hero as Yu Hakusho. That was a great finale. Sadly, Deku was just the next level. I'm telling you, my hero can name me and need some help. Deku's not going to be able to carry them all the way into the end. But hey, hope you all enjoyed. Yu Yu Hakusho falls here, but they will be back. Y'all know Yu Yu Hakusho is a crazy ass team. ISO gang, we out of here.